What's up, everybody? It's Big Brian, SLC Audio. Last time that we met, we had uh, we collected some sna drum samples. Now I'm gonna actually show you how we're gonna cut these up and make it so that as we go through the drum samples, we have something to use. first thing that I'm going to do is it's important to make everything labeled nice and neatly. So I'm going to cut here in Pro Tools and I'm going to activate my Smart Tool really quick and double click on that with the Grabber Tool and then I'm going to call this what it is. This is the, um, this is the OCP Raw. And then this next set over here would be the OCP with the snare weight. I'm going to call it standard. And then I'm going to go through and do that on all of these. All right, so I've got everything chopped up and labeled. So if you remember from the last video, we did the, the drums in the raw, and then we did the snare weight, the 70s insert, and then the 40s insert, and then we went over to the M1 and did different things there. So I've got everything chopped up, but now I've got lots of real estate that I want to clear up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter shuffle mode right here in pro tools and I'm going to just delete and then tab tab, or I'm going to turn off tab to transients real quick. I'm going to tab over to that boundary shift tab over the next boundary delete. And now what I want to do is go through and listen to each of these. This is the OCP raw. I want to go through, listen to each of these and hear exactly what I'm going to get. So I could go through and critically analyze these and say which one I think was the best. Okay, once I have that, I could either do two things. I could come in and edit this manually by zooming in, finding about a little bit of space right before and a little bit of space after. Now I could cut this like that or we could use the trick we used before where we use strip silence and we make sure that we strip, use strip silence and just get everything. So now I've, I can strip that out quickly. I have gotten rid of uh, all the dead noise, if you will, in between, just hit strip. Now I should go through and listen to these and make sure I'm not cutting off any tells. Nothing to me sounds stranger than instruments that use samples and the samples don't have any ambience left in them. These have a lot of space and a lot of gaps between them. So there's a couple ways we can do this. And if you guys remember from my video that we did on strip silence and consolidation, I can grab everything on this track. And then I'm going to take this, check my timeline drop order. And now it's on left to right. So I'm going to take all these clips. All right. If you look at this, now that I've got all those selected and drug out, I have all of those snare samples in a very quick, concise thing. I'm going to hide this, hide it, make it active. I can go through and listen to all those really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the, which I feel is the best one from each grouping. me it felt like this one so I'm just gonna take that drag it down to a new track and then the last thing I do I'm gonna go through all of these but save time for you guys all I'm gonna do is take this rename it so this is the black beauty with the m1 and then I can come here and export this and choose an audio files folder that I want to put these in okay so I've already done this I've exported all these and I went over to my finder here and in, in my finder, I created Black Beauty samples and the OCP snare samples. Each of these I will give links to on this video or below in the comments so that you guys can access them. So we have all of the different um, snares. We have the M1 with two flaps, snare weight 40s, snare weight 70s, standard, raw, 
M1 with one flap, standard M1. So all those are available to you guys. You can get them now. And then in another video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use these and create triggers within your uh, Pro Tools session. All right. I'm Big Brian, SLC Audio. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and we'll see you next time.